All right, I've had a few people uh, ask me about uh, how to uh, manipulate uh, the drill rewriter when you're rewriting a uh, drill. Uh, it's something I got to use all the time because of the uh, area of the country I live in, it's very much a uh, football heavy region, and the uh, band directors are really pressured to put out the largest band possible. I understand that completely, and I try to work with them as best as I can. I've become really, really quick with uh, using the drill rewriter. And so I kind of want to show you the techniques I use to help myself out with everything. Uh, first thing first, here's the show. It's a show band show. It's not really a core style show. Uh, so it's your traditional dance line, guard, majorette, or feature troll in this case. Women's and brass, kind of staged to be that way. But he likes a little bit of an influence of a more of a core style show. So there's a little bit of stuff in there. But in this, what I'm showing you now, not a lot. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to resave it. And uh, I'm using a backup, by the way. Uh, so I'm going to save as, let me go to my adults directory, and I'm going to save it as, uh, right there, uh, rewrite for holes. And I'm going to override it. I had a problem with that file earlier. Uh, so we got that in there. And now I'm going to go, go ahead and begin my rewrite. The first thing I want to do is explain what the rewrite is. I lost uh, four clarinets. It was written for 12. So he's down to eight, and he has six altos, and it was originally written for five. And so... Most of us, including myself in the past, we would take away four, then we'd add the one. And really, that's a really big pain in the rump. The best thing to do is to think of this all as one section. And so what I do is uh, fairly simple. I go ahead and uh, highlight everything, and I begin to renumber everything and relabel. So I relabel everything as W for woodwinds. They're always connected. This woodwind section is always together. So. I treat it as that, I'll renumber them, and I accept everything. And now what I do is I go from set to set and make sure everything is glued well. And I believe in this case I am. Yeah, everything looks really, really good. Uh, I've, and like sets like this where everybody connects, I want to make sure that they are indeed connected. And you want to make sure that there's no funky business going on. So you go back and make sure things are connected. This to me is not connected. And you want to make sure because this originally, I've already went ahead and went through things. This had a line right here where these two are tied together for some reason. Uh, you need to knife those two apart or else it would adjust that form with it. And it looks like I'm good on everything. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is this drill move back here. Uh, it is a little AB type mesh. Back line goes on the front line, makes an arc. Yes, it's blind. They can do that though. Uh, and so what I look is where do I want to take away the uh, drill, f drill f the uh, members from in the drill. And uh, like I said, we lost four and we're adding one. So actually we're losing three total from this now full section of W's. Uh, so I want to take away the outer three which is these three over here, which in this form is 11, 13, and 12. So that's who I need to uh, rewrite. 11, 13, and 12. So I'm gonna go to my drill rewriter, go ahead and save, uh, and 11, 13, and 12. And continue. And these I'm gonna leave a hole. This is straight line form, I'm gonna leave a hole there. Uh, this is a curvilinear set. Uh, I'm definitely gonna equalize that. Uh, this whole set right here, again, uh, uh, do I want to equalize? I'm going to leave a hole. I saw a construction error in that one, so I'm going to leave a hole because I noticed something. I didn't play that out well. Leave a hole. Leave a hole. And if they're on the end like that, you can just do leave a hole. That's why I did the leave the hole. That's definitely an equalized set. And you're gonna see that mistake in a second. Okay, so they're all taken out. And so you're probably gonna say, well, that set looks horrible, what do I do? You got two options now. You can either, uh, and what I am gonna do is I'm gonna just get those, move them over there, and I'm gonna get my math worked out on this. Get, not my math, but get, get a little more velocity than what that would have done. And that's a three step. I'm 
I'm I am commanded to not do bigger than eight to five with this group. And so do that right there. And I don't like that the way that first move works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the, these two members. Probably. Let me make sure I want to do that. Now, considering the member goes up to that diagonal, I'll keep that there. All right. And so I'll just go around and make sure everything is working fine. Uh, you're going to see that the issue was with this set right here. That was an arc. And then I added them to that. And so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to... that right there go back in time and I'm gonna delete uh, my transition into that right there that way I'll just read just to where it was all right and you just go around and make sure there's anything that's not bad and really that's all you got to do uh, that's the way you can save time with this and then what I would do I would just go back in and re number to my new instrumentation. So I'll still do my clarinets out here and everything in the order, but that, that allows me not to have to think about it. So let's go all the way back to right here, and I'm gonna keep, put my new numbers in now instead of at the end. And so I had, uh, now I have eight, and I think that's eight right there, and just label. Excuse me. And etc. And that's what you just do throughout the whole whole drill. Uh, what I do is at the end of this song, I'll print out the page, go to my next song, adjust down, put in the new letters, and continue going through the whole thing. I uh, hope that helped you out.